Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Weefies. I'm sorry about the background noise. And welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. I'm sorry that I sound a bit sick, but I gotta pre record videos for today. So, we've come back to the world, and you can see I've done a bit of work on the house. The roof does not come out as much as I would like it to. It'll look much better when it comes out a bit more, but for now, it kind of looks sort of weird, but it will be okay. Trust me, soon. It's all a matter of time. Anyway. As you can all tell by the title, I am going to the nether today, which is a very terrifying experience considering I could literally die, and I don't plan on dying in hardcore Minecraft, but I'm going to raid nether fortress, it's just an inevitable part of life, and plus I need the content. So we're going to see if we can get sharpness, question mark, and there we go, sharpness, and now boys, we are going to the nether, so what are we going to bring? We're going to bring... I believe um, a cauldron. Uh, that's not a cauldron. That's a cauldron. We're gonna bring a cauldron. And if you guys are wondering why, it is because cauldrons are can actually be used to extinguish you if you're in the Nether. You can actually place. You can pop down one of these bad boys, and you can actually put water in it, which is super duper useful. I'm also gonna bring some bottles to carry the water with me. And I'm going to bring some gaps, so hopefully, uh, by gaps I mean gapples. I mean golden apples, if you guys aren't familiar with that terminology. And so my um, FOV is a bit lower than usual, sorry about that if it's a big change or if it's a bit noticeable. Uh, it definitely is for me, but it's not a huge deal, I think, question mark. Anyway, uh, we're just going to see if we have any apples, no, zero, zilch, no apples, I. Um, I'm gonna cut down a few trees, hopefully we can get some apples, because I really think those will be super handy when, you know, going to the nether. But and hopefully you don't die, because that would really seriously suck. It would definitely put a wrench in a hardcore mode Minecraft. But, you know, it's an inevitable part of life to just go to hell, so... So yeah, let's just go to the nether, I'll tell you guys when that happens. I'm gonna wait a little bit for some apples, but if they don't come soon, I'm just gonna go for it, because... Yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, it's a sapling, but that's not an apple. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to wait for an apple. I'm just going to straight up go for it. We're going to need nether wart to brew potions, and I think this is the first logical step. We're going to have to get some nether wart. So I brought some cobble, and I really kind of want a totem of undying, but, you know, I think we're just going to have to go for it. So that's my scaffolding. You can ignore that. Um, YOLO down the middle, I guess. I'm scared. I'm very scared. We could this series could literally end today. But it's inevitable, guys. <sighs> I'm so scared. I'm terrified. I am honestly terrified. I'm so not ready for Oh my god, I forgot about that. And I'm just gonna quickly There we go. Um there's another fortress right there. Is there a safer way to get to it? Because I would much rather take the safe route. Ooh, this is not good. I'm gonna set my FOV back up to where it usually is at 80 or 79. That works too. All right, we're gonna go up here. There it is. Okay, so actually we're getting very lucky. We're connecting it. We should. I really want to kill that magma cube, but I think it's just not gonna be an option right now because that's how you get fire resistance potion through magma cubes, I believe. But yeah, it looks like just not. It's not like it's gonna happen anytime soon. Just to make, sure, make sure it's safe. So, okay, thank God. Okay, so if you guys were wondering, this actually does work. We can actually plop ourselves down in some water. I forgot to make the bottles. Oh my God, it's a one-time use. Okay, so we're in the nether. We actually made it to the fortress. What's oh, a blaze? Holy moly. Oh, that scared me. That scared me so much. There we go. There we go, guys. We made it into the fortress. Oh my God, it's a blaze. I got the damage. Okay, good. We got him. <gasps> okay, we were in, in, in and out, in and out, in and out. We just came in and out for the soul sand. For the soul sand, another war. That's all we came here for, guys. There's nothing else to do here. Just quickly grab that and go. I want to make potions. I'm gonna need a blaze rod for the brewing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need blaze powder. Oh god damn it! We're gonna need to mine some of that. We're gonna have to get some blazes. Alright, I really don't want to get stuck in here because this is very dangerous. We could die at any... Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank god. 
It's another one. Hello? I'm gonna get the chest. Oh my god. I'm very terrified. You have no idea. Hello? I don't want why am I why am I why am I initiating combat? Wait a second. There's no reason to initiate combat, right? We just want to be safe, so as long as nothing really bad happens. There's one around the corner. There it is. Oh my god. There we go, we got him. Okay, what's in here? Some stuff. Some more stuff. That's a dead end. I guess we're gonna have to go down that way. We need the blaze powder, guys. There's no way around it. We just need the blaze powder. We'll leave the cobblestone on the right wall. Okay, good. So far, so good. So far, we're pretty safe. There was one. Let's get him, boys. There we go. We got him. There we go. More chests. More gear. Oh, we're out of running out of inventory space. Oh, we're actually, severely. Okay, I don't need the second horse armor. But I don't need nether rack either. That's very easy to get. Okay, so quickly just. Holy crap. I hear blazes, but I don't see blazes. That's a dead end. Ooh, we got some stuff. Some gold swords. I'm not going to need that in the near future. Okay, so we can just block off that. Alright, I'm going to go this way. Another chest. Another chest. That could end very badly. If that's a lava hole. Oh my god. I'm gonna just block these off for now. I'm very scared. I've never been this terrified in another fortress ever. A lot of chests. <gasps> that's diamonds! Four diamonds! That's pretty worth it, actually. Um, I guess I'll take another saddle. Alright. We're gonna have to remember to go off. There's only one way to go. That's a dead end. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to find the blazes, because I really need myself some blaze powder. I really need that blaze powder. There's no ways around it, guys. You gotta have the blaze powder if you want to succeed in Minecraft Hardcore mode. Okay. I can just board that up. We're gonna go this way. You need some wood. Because that's gonna be a very good indicator, unless it burns. Okay. Oh! That's a dead end. Okay, thank god we didn't... Imagine if they had stair traps here. Like, you'd just be walking up and there'd be a gap in the stairs. That'd be horrifying. Come on, we need blaze powder. Oh! Skeleton. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we're not out yet. <laughs> Um, there was nothing behind here, was there? I don't think there was. I really do not. Alright, here we go. That's the way we entered. Okay, we survived. There's more down there. I want to see if I can see any further. I'm getting kind of cocky. I don't really want to die. But that's some more. Oh, that's, it looks like a patio. It definitely looks like a patio. Let's leave a little trail. A patio is just where I, I, I can I can get glowstone here. I just realized, but no, no point in glowstone right away. I don't need it. Um, that is a patio. Is there a blaze spawner? No, there isn't. There's no blazes. Jeez. Okay. We can continue. We can continue outwards. Hopefully, find some more stuff. That's at that end. Is it? I want to make sure it's a dead end. I really want the blazes. I really... Oh, it's a humongous fortress. The fortress is massive. It's a very big fortress. I gotta be sad. I'm gonna be honest. I do not want to... I, I can explore it later, but... I don't have any fire prot. So I'm kind of scared to initiate any sort of contact. Up in here. Say so what? I did not think I was ever here. Are those blazes? Is that a way to blazes? I. I'm 
so stupid. Okay. I guess we just follow there. And then we go up there. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to... I mean, we don't have to do this, but I really need to get the blaze powder. It's just an inevitable part of life. I mean, give me the glowstone. I don't mind the glowstone, especially when it's so easy to get. When you don't have to pillar to it, I'll take the oh, blaze powder. Blaze powder. Blaze powder. Blaze powder. No, no, no. Oh my god! Set up the cauldron. Eat. We got one. Need a bit more for the blaze powder. I'm gonna break the spawner. Oh, we're on fire, we're on fire. Whew. Oh my god. This is not good. I should have brought a bow. I can't see it from the particles. No. No, 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 no. They're scaring me, guys. Very scary. No powder. Block. Powder. More, more blaze rods. We have two blaze rods. That should be enough for a brewing stand. And one blaze powder. Oh my god, okay. This is where the bottles would have come in handy. Okay, so it was right there. Up here. Oh my god. Jesus. I'm just like, your religious references left and right. Oh, well, I'll take this. Definitely. I maybe shouldn't have broken the spawner, but I had to. It's way too risky to leave it. In my opinion, of course. A lot of you pros may have been able to keep it, but I'm just not on that level yet. Okay, so we came from down there. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Okay, yeah. I think we're good. I just want to go straight and see what we can find. Maybe, maybe, possibly more blazes. No, 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 nothing, nothing. Clear out the fire. Nothing yet. Should have brought a bow. I really should have brought a bow, but it's okay. We can just wait here, get some powder. They don't, too many hopefully won't spawn at once. That's the, really, that would be really annoying. Yes. That's four. I, I, I'll take four. I'll take four. I'll take four. I'm not going to press my luck any further. Oh, hell yes. That, my friends, is a lot. They don't set you on fire, do they? That would be the worst. I remember they jump really high. Yeah, they jump very high. Oh my god, they jump very high. Where's the bow, man? Where's the bow? Oh, that's not happening. I need it, boys. I need the magma cream. The range. Nope, they're, they're insane. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm, I'm so out of here. I need the bow, though. Come on, man. Yes, I can outrange him. Yes! Let's go. Where's the cream? Give me the cream, buddy. Give me your cream. I killed the slimes. Not to die here. They jump so high to... Not now. Oh, my God. That's not good. I'm running towards it, but not because I want to. Okay, yeah, we're out. We're out. We're totally out. We got the magma cream. We got one magma cream. That's really good. And now we can just book it and get out of here. Oh, that was that could have been very bad. Hello, Mr. Pig Van. Don't mind me. I'm just quickly going out of here. Yeah, we're we are super not doing that again anytime soon. We came for what you wanted. We have a soul sand farm. I mean, another wart farm, and we can get out of here. 
Woo, that feels good. That feels really good to be out of the nether. Oh, wait. I was looking at the material list. Oh, okay. I'm, let me just... I'm sorry. This is so ugly. I was looking at the material list for the farm, the chicken farm, and the leather farm. And they, they both... Well, the chicken farm, at least, requires observers. You know what that means. As far as I can tell, that means... Um, how much quartz do we have? Um, four. Yeah, that means uh, going back to the, the nether. Actually, it's only two observers. You already got lucky this time. We definitely got lucky. I have gathered all the resources necessary to make a cow farm, and I plan to do just that. So we're going to choose a nice area. Uh, I really do not know. I guess we could put it, like, um, kind of in this little place. This is like really a nice forest. I don't want to ruin it. I really need to find a good location, or else it's just not going to work out really well. I don't want to go seven miles to get my food either. However, you know what? Maybe we can actually put it in this hill. That would look pretty cool. I mean, in my opinion, of course. Uh, and I think it would also be, you know, kind of... Oh, frick, that noise. I think it would also be kind of like a nice usage of space. So we're going to just quickly dig this out and maybe get another shovel in the process and hopefully get someone breaking. But now... It's just time for some building. I'll meet you guys when all that is done. Alright, so really good news. The cow farm is all completed. All we gotta do is take out the actual cows. Which would be nice, because we have some leads from that wandering trader we once killed. And this is our new shovel. I intended it for 10 levels, and silk touch efficiency too. Is like, god tier stuff. Like, really cool. So, for now, we're just gonna take some of these guys. We'll take you, and we'll take you and now we'll just keep going and you guys are out of there no 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 okay you can you can come out as well here i'll just take all of you i guess yeah 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 there we go now we just gotta load them into that little chamber and where they're good for breeding i mean actually we only need two because they're gonna breed anyway here's our cow farm it looks really quite nice and it looks really compact and side of the hill yeah you can live i'll let you live i'll feel <gasps> i almost fell on that i'm just gonna fall in the hole fall in the hole all right, maybe it's gonna be a bit harder. I mean, easier said than done. We're just gonna go in the hole. There we go. There we go. Who's a good boy? You're free. And now you are just going to quickly fall in the hole. Yes. There we go. They will breed a baby, a baby, and uh, it will go and die. Oh, I think we're gonna actually legitimately need more. Where's our lead? Did it just die? It burned. <laughs> our lead burned. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to take another one. Come with me. Come with me. Well, this is gonna be really annoying. I'm gonna have to breed them. It's not really that automatic, is it? Huh. Okay, so after loading my cows in and then coming to the very disappointing realization that this cow farm isn't automatic and I still gotta breed them, which means I need wheat, I think we really gotta go for the chicken farm here because it's it, chicken... It's annoying, but, like, I still gotta have it, so, you know? I got one bow from a skeleton, which is super lucky, and I'm pretty sure I can use the grindstone to repair and disenchant. Right? I do really need to. I need spiders, man. I need the string. That is, that is, that is, that is not good. That is, no, 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 no. Hell no. I am, nope. I am out, 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 out. I will get string another way. There is... Come on, two babies. Yeah, there's no way. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you guys. I'm, I'm out, I'm out, I'm leaving. So, after a lot of grinding of spiders, which took a lot longer than I would like to admit, and some accidents, such as, uh, um, that, uh, we, can, we now have the fully completed chicken farm hole where I can breed my chickens. Uh, you should, uh, grow with someone, question mark? Okay, maybe not. Hopefully they'll breed. And now we have a fully functional egg farm if we just hop into this little cavern right here. So, uh, and I um, should probably put the glass because that's probably important. Okay, now that all of that is finally completed, looks nicer, we can now work on the roof of our house because that thing looks ugly and it's not even fully completed. So I think it's very important that we finish that. It looks really weird, but I, I think it looks pretty cool. Let's just... Uh, 
yeah, let's get to the top and start working. So the first thing I want to do is expand the sides, which will require a lot of spruce wood. And luckily for me, I actually have a lot of that because I cut, I just cut down, oops, another big boy tree. So now I can just make a bunch of slabs and even more stairs. I can actually re replace almost all these into stairs. Okay, maybe all of these into uh, more stairs. And now we just got a pillar up and hopefully make a nice looking addition to the house because right now it's not looking so good. So I think it would be really cool to have some slabs just like that. Like little window curtain blind thingies but they're just kind of like hanging over the edge. However actually that doesn't look that bad. It does make sure it does actually look much nicer to be honest with you. Okay, I actually really like where this is going. It makes the house look more balanced. The roof doesn't look like it's just, you know, plastered onto the top, which I think is really important in a house. The roof doesn't look all garbage. So now, can we extend it or do we just leave it at that? Because now we have to go on the sides. All right. Now we have to go on the sides and do the same thing. So we just got to go up here. And now we just got to do the same thing. But now, apart from that thing at the top that I forgot to fill in, that looks pretty bad. Um, I did craft some stairs, so maybe that's the answer? Question mark. I don't really know. I guess you gotta kind of experiment with things until I find a design that looks right to me. I just mined that with a pickaxe, I think. Wow, nice, and good going, Weefies. Okay, so block up like that. Yeet. And now, how does that look? Does that look any better, or does that make just look way worse? That looks worse. That looks really weird. Yeah, that looks very strange. I do not like that. Well, that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. At all. At all. Nice. Uh, I almost died. Just kidding. I almost looked damaged, though. So now we have the entire roof of the house all completed. It looks really cool from the front. I don't know whether this... Yeah, the side looks sick as well. Like, the little edge makes it look really nice. The back looks really cool. And this side looks nice as well. I don't know how I feel about that ledge over there, but I think it will. I think it's okay. Now, I'm always, I'm debating this. Do I make a mini ledge? No, I, I don't, I do not. Like, over these windows. But the answer is no, I do not. I like this how it is. There, we now have our house, and that is all well and good. Let's see if our chickens grew up, because I am very, very keen on breeding them. Hello, children. Excuse me. There we go. Out of my way. So now we gotta work on the interior of the house because right as of right now, it looks very ugly. I don't like it at all. So we're gonna have to work on some renovations to the insides. And that it requires a second floor. And the second floor is going to be around slab level. So that level right here, like the attic, is going to be the slab level. And it's going to be right around the top. So right around there is the second level. And I guess for the time being, we're going to have ladders. Although I don't like the look of ladders. They look kind of ugly. Um, when, of course, when getting to a different level, you're going to want to use stairs. Or in our case, a really cool redstone contraption. And I don't have a lot of those in this world. So it might be nice to have a little elevator or something. But for now, for the time being, we're going to stick to ladders. Just because they're very convenient when you want to go up and down. So just like that. Uh, 3D ladders, by the way. They're so cool. So, oh, okay. Whatever. That, that's fine. That's like a storage area. I like that. And now we just got to fill in the entire floor with half slabs. Which is going to be much easier said than done. But I think that we can manage. It's not going to be a... It's not going to require a tremendous... Oh my god. I hate slabs so much. It's not going to require a tremendous amount of effort, just a, a bit of effort. So, yeah, I'll, I'll time lapse this part for you guys.
However, everybody, that is the end of today's video. I think it has gone on long enough. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have made it this far, that means the world to me. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace.